Okay, today I'm going to show you how to connect to Speedruns Live IRC using an IRC client as opposed to the Mibit widget available under the channel tab. The convenience of using an IRC client over the Mibit widget on the site, I'll explain as I go along here, but I would highly recommend using an IRC client as opposed to Mibit just because it offers more functionality and convenience. The IRC client I'm going to use today, how to walk you through installing it and getting it working on your computer, is HexChat. Now, to install the software, you need to go to hexchat.org, and it'll open up the front page, and it'll already show you a list of features that make it nice to have, such as a customizable interface, cross-platform, working with scripts, so on and so forth. To get started, go to Get Downloads, and you'll click either for XChat 2.95 or whatever the latest stable version is. Um, you'll click x86 if you're running off a 32-bit machine, or x64 if you're running off a 64-bit machine. More than likely, x86 is going to work for any cases you have there, so you can go ahead and click on that and rinse the installation wizard. Now, on the installation wizard, you'll just click Next and follow the instructions as it goes through. You can specify whether you want to do normal installation, minimal, or custom installation. And once it says it's finished installing, you want to de-check the box that says uh, something about installing Visual C++. Um, since you don't need that. So once you've run that, you can go ahead and open the software. Just go to HexChat here. And you'll see that I already had my name on there because of a previous installation. Just go ahead and type in your nickname, whatever backup nicknames you have, and your username. And you'll notice that the list of networks here does not have Speedruns Live IRC on it. So you'll need to add a new network. Name it whatever you want to. Click Enter. And go to make sure that's highlighted and go to Edit. For the servers for Speedruns Live, you only need to connect to one of them, which is irc.speedrunslive.com, and press Enter. You'll want to connect to that selected server only, since that's the only one there. On one thing you'll notice that's nice about IRC is when you open up your software, the client, you don't have to have a browser open. You don't have to worry about going through the Mibit stuff again. You can just say auto connect to the server at startup. You can also specify favorite channels that you want to join to automatically. Speed runs live, comma, no space, uh, Mega Man. And you can also, if you want to just add the channels a little easier, you can just add them here and specify a password for each of them. Now, if you have registered your NIC already on IRC, you'll want to put in the password next to NICSurf password. And that pretty much does it for setting up the network. Uh, close out of that and go ahead and connect to it. You'll see that it's connected to everything here. It says you're registered and it'll pull up all the information there. And it also auto connects to whatever channels you specified in the favorites list. One nice thing about having an IRC client as opposed to Mibit is when you're on Mibit, you'll see people joining and coming all the time. And that often floods the channel with just join and part requests. To hide those, right click the channel name Go to Settings and click Hide Join Part Messages. To switch between different tabs, you'll hit Control Page Up or Control Page Down, and that makes it easier. You can also customize what buttons you use for that by going to Settings, Keyboard Shortcuts, and changing them whatever you want to there. I like the default settings, so I'll stick with those. To specify if you want your browser to flash, like if you want to race a game that you've been looking for all day and you don't want to miss it, you can specify certain words that will flash your IRC client. To do that, go to Settings, Preferences, and go down to Alerts under the Chatting menu there. You can specify certain words to add, like MMX and OOT, you'll want to put a comma with no space in between them to make sure that they work okay. Otherwise it'll every word that has every sentence that has a space in it will be Nick flashing you, so make sure you don't put a space in between the commas for each of them. You can also do other things to customize your browser, such as change colors on it, show whether or not you want timestamps on there to see when somebody posted a message. Um, you can have logging, sound, there's a lot of things you can play around with here. It's very nice, very convenient. And somewhere on here you can specify scripts. I won't go into detail on that. 
like here, go to window, plugins and scripts, and you can load a new script or whatever. So that about does it for the general, oh, one more thing. If you want to see what channels are available on IRC to join, you can go to server, list of channels, download the list, and it will show all of the channels that are available on the IRC. Speedruns Live is the main one, so that's the one you'll want to join if you want to race games, basically. And you'll generally be on there by default anyway through the MIBA client. Last thing I want to show today is how to connect to Twitch TV chat with an IRC client. So say you want to be in multiple different chats, but don't want to have to deal with each individual pop-up window, having so many things to balance at once, and just have the convenience of an IRC client. To do that, go to HexChat Network List. You'll be brought back to the same window here. Add a new network, we can call this Twitch Chat, whatever you want to name it. Click Edit, and for the, IRC, the server information, you'll type in your Twitch TV username, .jtvirc.com, press enter, connect to that selected server only, and if your Twitch username is different from the information up here, you can unclick use global user information and specify all that information in here. You'll want to auto-connect that if you want to, and you can specify your channel, somebody else's channel, and so on and so forth there. I only listen to myself, so I'll just put my channel. And instead of putting it in the Nixerf password here, you want to use the server password for logging in. The server password is your Twitch TV password, basically. So whatever information you use to log on to your Twitch TV account, you'll put it right here. Once you've got all that information in, click close, and specify that one, connect and that'll automatically connect to your, to your Twitch TV channel. And it may take a little bit to get the settings used to, but you're all good to go there. That pretty much does it for my tutorial. You'll see you have a lot more space to work with, uh, timestamps, you can change the colors to whatever you like, and this information will save on your machine. You see I have previous logs here, and so that information will be on your computer as well. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment